What's up guys, Gormo here and welcome back to episode 5 of Gormo Gang. Today, we've actually still got so much content because of Black Friday. We have 5 packs in the store from Flash SBCs and Upgrade Packs. And EA have just released a brand new SBC which we will be going and completing first. Now, this is a card that is going to work perfectly for us. It's a, it's a silver card. It, it fits perfectly with the whole mentality of the silver objectives every week. And yes, he won't fit into the team straight away. However, over time, if we do get a different German striker maybe, or a German centre mid, we can kind of work him into the team and stuff like that. So, yeah, we will be doing him. It was nice and easy to do. Maximum is going to cost you is 15k with a bit of chemistry. However, it is out for 11 hours. So by the time that you actually see this video, this SBC is already completed and is already expired. So that's also why I want to do it as well. A really, really good card. I mean, he's going to be, you know, nothing special, but it's just going to help us a little bit more. That more of an impact sub maybe, or if we do need a German right mid to get us links, he will work. You know, three star, four star, that's perfectly fine for me high low is good enough for a winger really good all-round stats great stamina so if we do start him he is gonna last so we're gonna start off with that now another thing that i did want to kind of quickly look over is the objectives obviously we got the new rodrigo in objectives we also do have the black friday objective we've got the Serie A player and i'm still yet to complete bellerin so the other problem as well we have this this silver card there is a lot to grind right now and I think my main focus is going to be on the silver player first and then probably Rodrigo. So right now, as I'm recording, it's still Friday night, so I can still qualify for weekend league. I've got a few games to play, so we'll do that. And also by qualifying, we are going to end up with 125 pit pack by the end of this episode. So we'll have that to open to finish it off. But for the time being, I can't complete any of these objectives because I want to put a bit more time into weekend league this weekend. I think the only one I may do will be the silver stars. We could do that on Sunday is what I'm going to think about. Um, but yeah, I'm going to plan on Monday to do Rodrigo. On Tuesday to finish off Bellerin and do half of Delafeu. And then probably on Wednesday we'll finish off completing Delafeu and then there'll be new silver stars out so I'll probably complete it that night so then we're all kind of caught up with everything and what's happening obviously we also have the Gerard objective right now Balak is winning now from what I'm aware of as long as I can complete the four objectives we're going to be getting a Steven Gerard. now they aren't easy to complete it's going to take up a lot of time we got to score an assist using Premier League midfielders in eight games. I can probably do that tonight in my Div Rival games. Scoring outside of the box, we can probably do that in Div Rival games as well. Um, score 15 goals with Prem. Again, we can do that. And play four squad bound matches with nine English players. Now, I'm not going to do that in Rivals to do with the fact of I want to make sure I get maximum points, maximum rewards on Thursday. So, we will eventually get through this. And so too, I'll also get through all of the new um, weak bronze, silver and gold. We'll get through them at some point. But to kind of just start off the video, we've got the 50k pack which came in from the Flash SBC. And then from the promo packs, from the 50k packs, we had a lot of duplicates. So I did sit and I did do these two 81 plus packs. And then there was some cards that we kind of could throw together for a team of the week pack so we're going to start off with a walkout this is a great start if we can get something good please EA. it's going to be french sent back rafael varan please this is fantastic a rafael varan we packed paul pogba yesterday we've got rafael varan today i mean we are getting very lucky in these packs right now he doesn't actually fit the team in a sense that we've got van dyke we've got joe gomez and now we have varan we do have Mendy though, so we can fit him in. I might run with a pairing of Van Dyke and Varan, and maybe we'll play Joe Gomez as a right back instead. But this just shows why this is kind of worth it. The only problem that we have is the walkouts that we're getting 
are walkouts that are usable and obviously i need them for the bundesliga grind not the bundesliga grind bundesliga goalkeeper i need them for the icon grind to get the icon pack now that is what i'm hoping to do for monday as well we should be able to have it done by then i've pretty much i think i've actually completed the 87 rated squad and i'm very close to one of the 85 rated we do get another walkout these 81 plus packs are given out right now it's going to be an english right back it's trent i mean we are getting all of the defenders in the world right now a trent alexander arnold from the 81 plus packs is incredible again he's somebody i use in my team a lot it means that bellerin is going to be pretty useless for me you know i picked this card up for 50k and i've used it for 270 games already right now he is to be honest he's only about 25k now i could sell him but what i think i'm gonna do is to kind of save like going and buying another 87 rated player what i will do is we'll go and complete the icon 87 rated team right now and um, so if we go to the icon pack and then we go into the 87 rated team as you can see it's pretty much all completed so what we'll do is we will take out griezmann and then we'll go and put in trent and um, just so that we can kind of cut out like some of the cost in a sense and um, so if we move that around we've got all the rating this was like as much as you can kind of get swapping anything out is going to remove some rating for us so the 87 rated is completed. This means that we are going to be doing the Icon SBC. I have no choice but to do it now. And um, We did get rid of Edison. He was in our team. However, right now, we don't really need him. We have Nick Pope and Gold. And we will eventually get our Van der Sar. Um, but we'll open the Prime Electrum from that. Hopefully, we can get something as well in the, um, in the pack. We don't get a walkout and we don't get balls from it. It's quite expected with these Icon SBCs. We'll send all of that to club and that can go to the trade pile. And then we've got the small rare gold players pack. Now, I've seen a lot of good packs from and a lot of good players from this. We do get another walkout. It is a UCL card though, so it could be an 84 rated, but it's going to be an Italian centre mid from Paris. It's going to be a Verratti, so 86 rated. Really, really good. This is our, I think it might be third or fourth walkout already. Again, it's going to be tradable but we'll keep hold of it. We're going to use him in one of the Icon SBCs. And then to finish this little part, we've got a Team of the Week pack. So, I mean, hopefully we get something. We're going to have a lot more packs to open today as well. We don't get a walkout, so we want a Portuguese board. It's going to be an Italian cam. Yeah, we've already got this guy. That's a shame. I think he's tradable, our duplicate one. Um, yeah, he is. So we'll discard that. And get into the next part all right guys so we're back with another day and um, there's been a lot of flash sbcs ea have done them throughout the night now i have missed a few with obviously going to bed so i think we missed the best pack was an 81 to 84 plus player pick not amazing but what we have done in that time is i have gone through and i have qualified for this weekend league so i will be playing that we'll go and take a look at the team after we have 12 packs now one thing that I did have to do in Rivals was play 200 games. We did that. So we do have another 125k pack, um, which we will be opening. Now, I'm actually really enjoying the team that I'm using. And do you know what? We'll take a look at it first. It's it's a really good team. All round, just, it just fits the meta. Obviously, we start off in a five back, and then we do change to 4 one 2 one 2 narrow. Trent goes into a left centre mid. Party is my DN. Uh, and then Joe Gomez covers in at right back. The rest is all self-explanatory, really. We will be upgrading um, Pope to Van der Sar shortly, I'm hoping. And then, obviously, the Icon Pack. We completed the 87 yesterday. We're very close to completing one of the 85. So, hopefully, within these few packs that we open, we are actually going to get enough to maybe complete the 86. And then it's just a case of buying the 85-rated... Um, we do actually have like a lot of good packs. We'll start off with the rare gold just because it's got the contracts in it. And the rest should all just be player packs, which is nice. Um, so hopefully we can get like 
a bit decent look. Obviously, the last two days we've had a lot of walkouts, so it wouldn't surprise me if we don't pack anything. Um, also, with the Flash SBCs, they are usually tradable, so even if we do pack a duplicate, you should be able to just send it to the transfer list. Um, but we'll open the 75 rated players and then we'll move on to I don't know, maybe some of the smaller packs that we still have. I'm not expecting anything from like the one player packs. Stuff like the ultimate pack and the 381 plus pack we'll probably get something out of. Um, the 80 rated ones aren't actually that good of a value. There was one before for an 80 rated attacker. You needed 11 rare players. For me that's just not worth it at all. Um, you're putting in too many plays to get only one player back and considering it was all rare players I'd rather have gone and done a 2 plus 81 pack so this one was more about working out what is the right thing to do and the right thing to kind of complete also before you might have saw that I had like 24 items sold all of them are silver cards that were selling because of the flash SBCs we've made about 50k from these SBCs so we're kind of fluctuating right now between the um, like 1.8 mil on the 1.85 mil mark so it's not going too bad and um, obviously with completing packs we're going to buy players so it goes down in price but we are making these coins back we do get a board from the 80 plus midfielder so that's quite nice is it going to be Kovacic yeah so an 83 rated look it's not bad for the, the actual value of the pack, it, it was probably like worth it. Um, the next pack we'll go for will be the 80 rated player, and then we'll open like the rare mixed. Um, we'll see what we get from that. We do get a walkout in the 80 plus. It looks to be an inform walkout. It's going to be a Belgium left mid. It's going to be Yannick Carrasco. Now, this is a card that I came up against a lot last night in Division Rivals. He is unbelievable. The links that I can also get from him, you know, he can link to Mamendi, which goes into a bit, so maybe he is tradable as well. Ah, oh, that's somebody selling coins. I thought he was 200k then. That would have been incredible. Look, 20k for a card like this, he is very good. And I may try and fit him into a team at some point. I really like using that Marcus Sorrente card, so we'll probably try and work out a way to fit him in, maybe like in a weekend league or just some division rival gameplay. Um, but that's that's a nice little start. Obviously, we won't be going into the icon SBC, but we can definitely make use of that. This is about the only thing we've packed up to now. Um, so hopefully, we can get something good. I'm hoping that EA also released quite a lot more of the um, Flash SBCs. I think at the time of recording, it's three o'clock, so we'll probably get another two or three, and then we'll also have six pm content. So we'll be coming back for that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to get most of the Icon SBC done today because I really want it for tomorrow just to kind of have that player still in the um, in the weekend league. I will be playing that probably 15 games today and 15 games tomorrow. So we'll have to obviously see how that goes, but hopefully we can get some better rewards than what we had on Thursday. Um, we don't get a walkout in the... I think this was a small prime pack. We usually get a striker. I'm so preferring a cardi there, really. But Higuain's all right. We'll take it. Not really anything else in that pack. And then we'll go with the rare Electrum. And we'll do the 381s. And then we'll do the 125k pack. So we don't get a walkout here. We don't get boards either because it's a common ball player. So we could have something in this pack. We do get a Visca. That's all right. I can, you know. That's not the worst thing ever. Um, it looks like we're going to get two untradeable silvers. Both Germany, one. For the time being, I'm not going to go and do a pack for it. There's no point. So the three 81 plus packs. We don't get a walkout. We do get boards though, so it's not the worst thing ever. Hopefully an 85 maybe. We get a Belgium centre back from Tottenham. So we do get old viral. So obviously it is going to be an 85 rated player. He is going to help us quite a lot with the SBCs. We also get Blythe Matuidi which does offer that link to Higuain for some chemistry if we need. And then to finish this a little bit, 125k, 125k pack from EA. Hopefully we get something. Do get a walkout. It's a it's a record breaker. It's a record breaker. Come on. Colombian. We get Falcao. Okay. Do you know what? We pack a record breaker. Incredible. Falcao. 
I want to use him as like more of a super sub maybe or possibly get that Teo card. I actually quite like the look of this. But do you know what? I'm, ha I'm happy we packed a Falcao. Very good card. We do get Yannick Carrasco and Edison in the same pack. Wow. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, EA is giving us out stuff here. We do get a few 84s and 83s. And then in the duplicates, we don't really get too much. But that is phenomenal. That is probably the best 125k pack that I've had for a while. Um, Falcao going for the... I think he is a base price of 60k because they have a high... Um, They've got quite a high discard price, but Casemiro and Edison is fantastic. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go and build a segment of the Icon SPC, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I've gone through, and surprisingly enough, I've actually been able to do an 86 and the 85 rated. So this was pretty much from everything we've just gone and packed. Obviously, using up the Casemiro, the Edisons, the older Byrolds. And then we had, obviously, Brandt and this Hinteregger in the club. And then I went out and bought a Benzema. He cost 39k to do. That, that's more than fine for me. Obviously, we get a two rare gold player pack, which we will go and open. Um, but what we also was able to do was it was slowly building towards the 85 rated team. We did have um, Verratti, David Silva, and Griezmann. So we've gone through and we've added in a few more players. Obviously, yes, some of it's high rated, some of it's lower rated, but we did need chemistry, so we've had to use the likes of Cancelo to get it. And um, we have bang on 70 chem. This team probably cost me about 20k to do. Picking up Donnarumma and Coleman, and I think we had to pick up Aigo Aspas. So we still got quite a good few players on the bench. Um, looking for the last 85 team, we don't really need too much, and um, we will be able to get it quite quickly. But that will be in tomorrow's video. So obviously we'll probably end up packing something else today. And then tomorrow's video, we'll go and complete the Icon SPC. In these smaller packs, we don't get anything by the looks of it. Hopefully, the two-player pack, we will get something. And then what we'll do is, once this is opened, we'll go and get into the 6pm content. So, I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So, 6pm content is out. We now have a brand new flashback player that is so worth it. Alessandrini is in the SPC, only an 85 rated squad to do him as well. So we are 100% going to be grinding him. We've got five days to do it. And the reason I say we're going to grind him is because EA have gone and released just so much grindable packs of content. There's also an 82 player pick out for today. So obviously we will be doing that. But EA have gone and released the, um, the league SPC kind of upgrade packs. We've done a few. I'm going to be going into them more tomorrow. I'm going to be also streaming, doing some of them tomorrow. We also do have the new rare player pick. Now, I usually stay away from these because I don't know if it's going to be worth it or not. However, because it is only seven gold players, it might be worth doing. We'll quickly build one here. And this will also kind of show you how I would do these SPCs. So literally go to common players. And then you just want to go with any kind of non-major league, realistically. Now, for the ease of time, I'm just going to throw in, like, any players. It doesn't really matter for me right now. Um, so then we'll throw in, I think that's six, is it? No, that's seven, smashing. So we'll throw all of these into their positions. And then it also kind of just shows what you can get from these packs, whether they are going to be worth to grind whether or not you do want to do them. Also, silver players are now going to go up in price due to the fact of you just need like the odd silver player to fill in. Chemistry is not a problem, so that also does help. Um, so we will get everything here. And then if we throw in a left wing, that should be all good. So we'll take this player pick and we'll see what we get from it. I don't expect anything from this. And um, yeah, it just kind of shows these aren't worth it. I'm going to stay away from them. You'd be better doing the two player packs. But the one that I am going to do, the actual player pick that's worth it, is the 82 plus player pick. It's only an 81 rated team, so I've gone and thrown that together. It's quite easy to do. It is going to be worth it, this one. And then we've got five packs in the store waiting for us. So we do get an 89 Casemiro again. That's the second time this episode we packed him. 
and that is pretty much going to seal off doing the icon SBC. We have pretty much secured all the rating we will need to do that tomorrow. And hopefully here is where we're going to pack the rest of everything that we need. We've got the 81 plus rated rare players, then we've got two Premier League and two League 1 players. My hope is that we can pack an Mbappe or Neymar. I'm going to solely focus on League 1. There is a grind that you can do to get there, so we'll try and do that. Um, I'm not too sure if this was boards. It's not boards. Okay, so we only get an 82 rated player. That's not the worst thing ever. Um, but obviously, once all these packs have been done to get the Icon SBC, we will then work towards getting Alessandrini. And we'll also work towards Van der Sar. I'll probably do Van der Sar first, then Alessandrini. Um, just because he fits into the team first. We do go and get Schmeichel. Nice card, 84 rated, good rating for the 85 SBC and a Jorginho. So, look, these... These player packs are going to work. If you are doing a team of the year grind, definitely worth trying to keep hold of them, save them to kind of possibly pack a team of the year. We get a Brazilian left back. It's going to be Alex Tellers. Now, Tellers is a good, like, for chemistry and SBCs. However, for me, he is only 6K, so we probably will use him. I do have Mendy, so what we're going to finish on is these two league unpacks. I'm just hoping for a walkout. We don't get a walkout, but we do get boards in the first one. Um, but as I said, tomorrow we will have the Icon SBC completed. We will have more of these packs for upgrades. Now, usually here, this is where I would go and like put another pack together. I'll go and do the um, recover. But to finish, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And hopefully this is going to be Mbappe to finish off the episode. It's not a walkout, it's not boards, so I'm out. Peace.